there's even a chemistry there with that. It doesn't necessarily yeah, mean right. that that if that woman's testing him, that she wants to jump in bed with him. I don't know. Maybe she does. Yeah, you don't but, know. But you know, I know I've been in that situation before where. I want to see how this person reacts. Is it yes. is it playful? Is it something that's mm -hmm. compatible with how I it? how I show up in mm -hmm. an intimate relationship? Yeah. And but that doesn't mean that I want to take it to that level immediately. Right. Um, and you know, and I'm not saying that there's there are hormones and feelings that come up that that I don't you know want to take it there because I probably do on some level physically. Sure. But if I really want that intimacy, I really want to build on that and get to know that mm -hmm. that man and see what else is there because. When you have that chemistry in the bedroom, when you can really get vulnerable, when mm. you can really just open up, it's mind blowing. It's you know, it's it, you know, it's it's a religious experience. It's you know, it's a full body orgasm. It's not yeah. just a release. Yeah, you know, you know that reminds me too of one other thing I would just add is that that well, I'm going to actually underscore what Lisa said, which is communicate about what's there because there's also a lot of space between zero affection and having sex. Absolutely, and. And trust me, I, I hate having zero affection. I don't like that. It, I mean, that's almost too dry for me, but some people need it that way. But, you know, you could spend the first three months just talking, okay, kissing is okay, cuddling and watching TV is okay, uh, or whatever boundaries you choose to create, but yeah. you really 